2023 presidency. Weaker reviews in his action if he does not get the PDP ticket. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. River State Governor and 2023 presidential aspirant Mr. Nyesomwiki has said he would remain in the People's Democratic Party PDP even if he does not win the presidential ticket. We can say this while addressing stakeholders of a Niger State chapter of the PDP at the party secretariat in Mina on Saturday. The governor said there was nothing wrong with the consensus candidate if it is based on equity, fairness and justice. While soliciting the stakeholders' support, he said he is the only candidate who is capable of defeating the All Progressive Congress APC in the 2023 presidential election. I am here today to tell you that I have made myself available to run for the seat of president of this country under our party, People's Democratic Party, PDP. I have been a member of the party since 1988. I have never left the party and I will never leave. I can become the president if I get the mandate of delegates to make me flag bearer. The country needs someone who will see white and call it white and black and call it black. And that person is me, he said. He promised to address the security challenges of the country, alleging that the present administration had not adequately protected lives and property. Okay. Um, before you start, before I, because I know a lot of people will come out and say, who are you? <laughs> before we start, there is something that is about um, the governor of River State, Nyesom Wiki. He's somebody that is, permits me to use the word blunt. Like, he says things, he does not sugarcoat his words. And the way he speaks his truth, it may get you offended. He, he's that kind of person that he does not hide you know, even if that truth is going to embarrass you, he does not care. As far as that thing he's saying is true, is true to him. That's the kind of person he is. I'm not, I'm not his friend. I'm just coming out to say this. He's this kind of person that, you know, if he says this thing is not good, he does not even mind where, whether he's going to be embarrassing to you. He does not mind. He will call you out and he will tell it to you in pure black and white. And some people don't like it, you know. They prefer, okay, I know this thing is true, but must you come and say it out like this? You understand me? Well, back to the news. Back to the news. Uh, Governor Nyesom Mike, he said, is the only one in PDP that can win the All Progressive. I don't think that statement is correct. I'm sincerely a political, you know me now. I'm not a political person. But I think, I don't think he has the capacity when it comes to the populace. You know, in, 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 I'm talking from the population angle now. I'm not talking of competency. We are going to come back to competency. The population angle is not is not he's not the only one. We have other people who can actually, you know, come out and they're going to be able to um wrestle with the APC and you know it is going to be a draw draw or it is going to be at least just a few points away from the other. We have other people, but definitely, definitely not Mr. Nyesomiki of River State. Now, the other reason is competency. A lot of, I don't know, River State, they, now they are, they are the ones that are going to come out and tell us what exactly is, it, is Wiki doing? What exactly is he doing? What is the standard of living? Is the, is, what is his performance um, score? Is he scoring below average in River State or he's scoring average or above average? We need to know. We need to know. It is because it is how he has performed as governor of River State that we are going to judge him. It is when we give you small things. You said you are going to be tested in small things, since they have smaller capacities. And you're going to see how well you can actually do before coming out to say, Oh, I have done this one. Oh, now, I will want to do this one. Okay. When has the seat of a president of Nigeria becomes out of a vagabond? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wiki, the truth is that you're actually a real grassroots and constant passive person. But for you becoming a Nigerian president, that is very impossible for you. Well, I'm not saying it's impossible. 
you can't say it's impossible, but <laughs> just like um, a game of politics and the game of football, nothing is sure. I've said it before. In the game of football, for the whole 90 minutes, nothing might happen. The players might be exhausted. But in that extra five minutes they give, that extra five minutes, if they're not taking three goals, one particular place might just go three goals against the position. Or might just equal the three goals against the position. That is just it. Who will give you the ticket? It is Peter Biston to rescue Nigeria. South is... It's rescue Nigeria. Southeast, it is their turn so that Nigeria will remain one. Hmm. Peter B is very stingy and corrupt and he's a rolling stone. He should go back to his party. Which party? Okay. He was once a member of Abga. <laughs> yes. He was once a member of Abga. But for a very long time, he has been with the PDP. Well, I'm not speaking for any of those people. These people are politicians. We all know how in, on, how not constant they can be. How they blink. Today they are blinking yellow. Tomorrow they are blinking green. Next tomorrow they are blinking white. They are not ever steady. So uh, if it is Peter, yes, Peter B, there's Peter B in PDP, not just to make it, a whole lot of them in PDP who wants to come out to contest and who are actually, you know, good, a good, um, good stuff for, good material for the presidency. So, because he did not open Anambra Treasure for you, that is why he's stingy. Since the left office, EFCC has not called him for corruption, but you and you alone have found him guilty of corruption. <laughs> okay. You don't chop well well for PDP from councillor to chairman to chief of staff to minister then to pres, then to governor. Now, president. Yeah, he's, he's, he's still he's not he's not yet the president. If Nigerians want to overcome their problems and prepare for their little children and a born child, the only two candidates who are not ready to deceive them and make money out of them are Peter B from PDP and Vice President Yemi Osibanjo from APC. Either of these two candidates, Nigeria may resurrect again. Others are coming for business as usual. I come in peace, not to fight, and that is only my opinion. However, I may be proved wrong. Well, he has just had his own opinion. Just like people have... Um, Governor Biki as the favorite people have Jagaban as their favorite people have a whole lot of people as their favorite. This person have come out to tell you this is what he thinks. My own is come to enter the free. We should not make the mistake of setting our votes or sitting indoors. We should come and outnumber the number of non credible voters on the street. We come out, cast our votes. You don't even need to make a fuss about it. No matter how they how we are provoked. Make a you know Cast a vote and then Viola back back to whatever we are doing. And I'm very sure that if we do so, if we come out and vote for not just vote, the competent person, things will certainly get better. Voting a competent person, irrespective of their party, is very powerful. It will change the narrative in Nigeria. It may not change now completely as in change immediately. But we are going to be changing the narrative of yes, somebody who is competent should be placed above someone who is more popular. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.